Hi there, welcome back to the English class. Let's take up the vocabulary part of I will do it. But before we start off, let's tell ourselves hard work pays off. Yes? Let's look at little glossary new words. Mandap. Remember, Murthy and his friends when they were teenagers, they in the evenings they used to collect around and discuss and study together under a mandap is a raised platform. You will find this in your localities. D-Day. The D-Day means the most important day that has approached. So, in your life, your D-Day could be your 10th board exam starting date. But how did this term actually originate? From the name given to June 6th, 1944, the day on which the US British and other armies landed on the beaches of Northern France in the Second World War. Very important day. Next, icon. A famous person or thing that people admire and see a symbol of a particular idea, way of life, etc. That means if you find someone very inspiring and you follow their footsteps to become like them, that person is your icon. So, someone who is an epitome of success, of epitome of hard work, you should make them your icon. Philanthropist, one who devotes his service or wealth for the love of mankind. Always try to include philanthropy in your life when you grow up. Always do something for the underprivileged. So, let's look at the next section. Given below are some sentences from the lesson. What do they tell us about Narayan Murthy sir's qualities? Use the adjectives in the given box that describe Murthy sir's character or qualities. You may also use some more adjectives if you like. If you have another word in your mind, you can look up the dictionary, check the meaning and then use it. So, let's see what's the first sentence. His seniors used to ask him to solve their difficulties in science. So, imagine a younger child clearing the doubts of the older people, elder people. So, that child must be quite bright, quite intelligent. Second, he was a guide for the others. Who is a guide? Someone who helps you grow, someone who helps you move forward. So, someone who is encouraging. Murthy sir was always encouraging from such a young age. While others struggled to solve the problems in the question papers, he would smile shyly and solve them in no time. So, here it not only shows that he was a shy person, but also shows that he is such a humble person. We can also use the word humble here. Why humble? Because he never took pride that I am solving the questions for others and they are unable to do it. He was very humble. He would just smile and solve it in no time. Next, his principle was never to hurt anyone. So, I would say he is a very simple person because he is not bothered about creating complications in his life or someone else's life. Just do your own job, let others do theirs, let's not hurt anybody. Next one, he did not reply. He never shared his unhappiness or helplessness with anybody. Definitely not outspoken, he was an, he is an introvert. Next, he went to station to say goodbye and good luck to them. Who is them here? His friends who were going to IIT for their future life. I would say he is a philosopher because he found joy in another person's joy even though inside he is, his heart is breaking in sorrow. Now that is nothing less than being a philosopher in life. Next, he never used the help of any caste, community or political connections to go up in life. Hard working on his own will on his own strengths he grew up. So, I would say Muthi sir very hard working. 
he built a team of people who are equally good. Why did he want to make them equally good? So that his company would be as good as him. That will only happen if everyone is maintaining absolute high standards. So uncompromising, never settle for less, always the best. So these were some adjectives of character that we could use for Narayan Murthy, sir. A little brief topic, one word substitutes. What are they? Sometimes you would want to speak about something and you use a truckload of words. And sometimes one small word can say, have the same meaning as that long sentence that you've used. For example, Today he has become an icon of simplicity, on uncompromising quality and fairness apart from being a philanthropist. So this line is about Murthy sir. Here instead of philanthropist I could have continued and said apart from being a human being who devotes his service and wealth for the love of mankind. So by using a one word substitute I have reduced an entire phrase of words to one word that means so much more than just a word. So these are called one word substitutes. Let's see the second example. He became a pioneer of India's software industry and started the information technology wave in India. So what does pioneer here mean? A person who is the first to study and develop a particular area of knowledge culture, etc. that other people then continue to develop. That means a pioneer is someone who sets an example and others catch up on it and they also try the same thing. So instead of such a long sentence, you just have one word substitute, pioneer. Will you grow up to be pioneers too? Yes, you must. So this was about one word substitutes. Now here, we are going to spend a little time over here. Take the most appropriate one word substitutes for the following. Now we shall discuss word by word slowly. The first one, a person or thing that cannot be corrected. Let's see which word means what. Unintelligible means unable to understand. Indelible means unable to remove. Illegible means unable to read. His signature was illegible. You could not make out a single alphabet out of it. Incorrigible means a person or thing that cannot be corrected. Never be such an incorrigible person. Yes, always learn to correct yourself and change. So the correct word here is incorrigible. Second, a person of good understanding, knowledge and reasoning power. Let's see which word means that. Expert. Expert means someone who has a lot of knowledge about a particular topic. Intellectual. That means a person who has good understanding, knowledge and reasoning power. Snob. Some person who feels he is better than the rest just because of some positive qualities he has. Never be a snob. Always respect everyone for what they are. Literate means educated. So which word would it be here? Intellectual. So not only be intelligent, you must be an intellectual because reasoning power is very important in our life. Third one, a person who knows many languages. Let's see. Linguist, a person who knows many languages. Grammarian a person who works on grammar. Polyglot, a person who knows many languages and even uses them. Bilingual, a person who knows two languages. Bi means two. So therefore, a linguist is a person who knows many languages. Fourth one, one who possesses many talents. I'm sure most of you are this. Let's see. Versatile, Versatile means someone who possesses many talents. Are we all versatile? We must be. Prodigy means a genius. 
exceptional means different, uncommon. It could be positive or negative way. Gifted means talented. So which one is the correct word for this? Versatile. One who possesses many talents. Finally, words inscribed on a tomb. In some cultures, when a person passes away, they bury them and build a tomb on top of it. So they write some words on it. Let's see which word means that. An epitome means a person or thing who is a perfect example for any quality. You could say uh, any heroine, she is an epitome of beauty. So person who is a perfect example of any quality. Epistle means a formal letter written to whomever, any organization or any office. Epilogue. This comes at the ending of any book. It is like the conclusion of that entire book. What that book is about is written in the epilogue. Epitaph. Words inscribed on a tomb. So what's the correct choice? Epitaph. So that was your vocabulary. So today we are winding up the first unit, personality development. And I want you to once think about all the chapters we've been through, right from attitude is altitude, and then success stories and the failures behind it, and then Murti says life, I will do it. So from these, you must grasp all these great ideologies, these great ways of improving our attitude that we've been going through all these days. Don't let this unit go waste. Help it to use it to help you mold your character, your attitude. Yes? So we'll see you soon. We'll meet again the next unit. Till then, bye.